Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be unboxing the Skaven Warcry Warband. Here we go, the Skaven Warbands. I've really been looking forward to unboxing these and seeing what's inside. We're gonna get tons of miniatures, tons of fighter cards, and it's gonna be an awesome warband for sure. So I picked these up from Element Games, and the RRP is 36 pound. But at Element Games, you can save 20% and get them for 30 pounds, 60 pence at the moment. And I'll put a link to that in the description below. But let's have a look at the box on the outside and then get it open and see what's included. So we're getting a peek at the front here. We're seeing the rat ogres and the clan rats and loads of miniatures from the, the artwork on the front. And then looking at the back, it just shows us everything that's included. We're gonna get two of the big rat ogres, three pack masters, six giant rats, and 20 clan rats with claw leader. So it's a huge amount of miniatures, 31 in total, and we're gonna get 20 fighter type cards, our ability cards, and tokens. And the box is just huge. If we compare it to one of the original warbands, the Spire Tyrants here, you can see it's twice the size. So this is gonna be packed with sprues. And I can't wait to get it open, let's do it. So these newer sets are all really big. And so far we've opened the uh, Caradron Overlords, the Oryx, the Flesh Eater Courts, and now the Skaven. And they're all packed with miniatures and really liking the new format of the Warbands. And let's get it open. So we're gonna get our Warband faction room mark here. And this is the one for the Skaven. There we go. And inside, you can see we're getting lots of sprues, a big bag of goodies. So let's get rid of the box. And here we go. So we've got one, two, three, four large sprues. We've got a ton of bases, two big ones for the rat ogres, and loads of smaller ones for the rats and the clan leader and the pack master and giant rats. Put those there. And then we've got our bag with our tokens and all our cards in. Awesome, so in the video I'm gonna go through all the sprues and I'll go through all the cards, looking at each fighter type one at a time to see all the stats and abilities. But let's start with the sprues and I wanna look at these rat ogres first just to see how big they're gonna be. And here's the rat ogre sprue. And these are looking really cool. I love the heads, they're great. So I guess size-wise, they're gonna be in comparison maybe with the Oryx, but we'll have to get them built to check them out. This is a cool looking weapon. This guy's got a couple of arms on one there, and the body. So they're looking really muscly and really fun. So that's the first sprue. And then we've got our giant rats here. It looks like, oh, this is cool. So they're all different. So you've got all different ones. Two, three, three. So we're getting seven all together. Oh, eight. A tiny one there. So that's really good. And then these are our pack masters. So not many components. Just the head, the body. It looks like a couple of arms. So it should be pretty easy to make. And we're going to get three of those. Three pack masters. And the different whips and everything. And then we've got our clan rats and our claw leader's gonna be in amongst this as well. So I wonder if we're gonna get lots of extra weapons to mix these up. It looks like we're getting the big spears here. We're getting daggers, clubs, maces, chains, all sorts. So this has really got some shields down here, the shields, banners. And then we've got another sprue and is that a double? No, this is a different sprue. So we're getting two different sprues for those. So loads of shields here. So we've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 17, 18 shields in there and a few on the other. But we're definitely getting lots of weapons we can choose. But other than the weapons there and the arms, these are pretty much built as one piece. So it shouldn't take long to build these and get them primed and painted. So that's all our sprues. Right, let's see what we get in the bag. 
and so these tokens come colour coordinated for the different orders then we've got our instruction book and you can just see there's just a ton of miniatures here so many uh, I'd be interested to see the different combinations so here for the pack masters you've got a choice of different heads and faces which is really good choice of weapon there same with the rat ogre you can mix this guy up rat ogre with warp fire gun or tearing claws i like the claws that's quite cool as well and there we go so pretty simple to build it's not going to take long at all a little bit of variation here maybe and we do get a paint guide here some of the sets don't come with a paint guide but i really like this paint guide i'd like to see more of the contrast paints on there which is what i'm using at the moment as i'm learning to paint these miniatures um, but this gives a good idea of the different colors so it could even it could be used even if you're using contrast paints to get a guide so that's our booklet and then we've got our fighter type cards and the ability cards and the ability cards are going to come in all different languages we only need english so we get rid of those and then we can see the different fighter types on the back so we've got the rat ogre a storm fiend and then we've got the night runner the storm vermin the puck master the plague monk the clan rat and the giant rat so we're getting the pack master the clan rat and the giant rat and then I wonder if we can use the miniatures included to do variations of these, but otherwise you can pick them up separately if you wanted to go and have like them true to the images included on the fighter type and ability card here. And then we've got our abilities on the back there. And it looks like there's not an ability for every single member of the warband here, which I haven't seen before. So it's only going to be if they get a certain rune mark that they can get an ability so that's quite interesting so i guess with so many of the clan rats if they all had abilities it might just be too overpowered so but we'll have a look through each of the fighter type cards and um, we'll see how this fares and how these guys are going to play tactically and here's all the 20 fighter type cards which is a huge amount and then we've got our two duplicate cards which you're going to need certainly with so many of these clan rats so they're going to be doubling tripling even quadding up with different amounts so you're going to have to keep track of so many with perhaps just one or two fighter type cards so these are going to be really useful you may need to take some from other sets you've got as well uh, so there's those and then all our fighter type cards we'll go through from the lowest points and then we'll work our way up to the big boys which are most doubtedly going to be the rat ogres and our leaders okay let's get started and we'll begin with our giant rats and here we go this is the lowest points i've ever seen for any of the models in warcry with the sets i've picked up so far and with the giant rats they're 35 points they've got a movement of eight can take four damage and toughness of two they do get two room marks so we'll check those out in a second and they're going to be biting so they've got a range of one they need to get up close and personal there they can have three attacks which is quite a lot certainly for that 35 points they've got a strength of three dealing one to three on a crit so they've got a lot of movement here and you know a decent amount of attacks only one to three but you're going to expect that with a low model even up to 65 70 points you're going to be getting one to three so that's pretty impressive but let's see the rune marks and check those out if you've got the the book the core book you'll see that there has a page on page 50 with all the different rune marks and their meanings and you can see with this card we've got two we've got agile and the beast so if you wanted to you can refer to this to see the meanings and what the rune marks uh, apply to okay so let's look at the abilities for our giant rats so we've got this one here which is on a double called scurry away a fighter can use this ability only if they are within three inches of an enemy fighter. Roll a dice. On a four plus, this fighter makes a bonus disengage action. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So with eight, eight kind of movement here, that's quite a lot. They can make a bonus disengage action on a four plus. So they can run in, 
do some damage and then disengage and get away from the fighters there so that doesn't tie them up because they're not going to take much to kill these guys with just a toughness two uh, so that's nice and then they've got the beast one which is going to apply later i suppose to the pack master and he's going to have some abilities that are going to link him to this so it'll be interesting to see that later but that's our giant rat and for 35 points that's a great start next we've got our pack master and at 65 points he's got a movement of six he can take eight damage with a toughness three he's also got the agile rune mark and another one here another rune mark to look at so separate two separate abilities there so he's got a range of three he can make three attacks and strength three dealing one to two two on a crit and he's got another ability there so he can get up close and personal with a range one dealing three attacks strength three one to three on a crit so let's see what the pack master's abilities are so he's getting on a double he's going to get scurry away and then on a, another double he's got an ability called crack the whip and this is going to link him with the beast rune mark on those giant rats and it says here pick a visible friendly fighter with a beast rune mark within four inches of this fighter that fighter makes a bonus attack action that has a range characteristic of three or less so these giant rats definitely have a range characteristic of three or less they've got a movement of eight but this guy can move six so he can certainly stay within four inches of them with them having that extra movement and they can do a bonus attack action and bear in mind they can make three attacks that's pretty good so they could do six attacks dealing three damage one to three that's not bad so he's got two options there and he can also disengage and get out of the fight should he need to so i guess with this guy you want to keep him certainly from engaging directly with the enemy and have him in control of the giant rats pushing them forward and getting them to do some bonus attacks and i think that'd be quite fun and you've got three of those as well so you could certainly do some damage with your pack masters doubling them up with the giant rats and that's a really good combo and low points as well so there we go that's our pack master and next we've got our plague monk and for 70 points he's got a range of six can take eight damage with a toughness three he's got the one ability there and his weapon so he's got this longer stuff so it gives him a little bit extra range so he's got a range of two making three attacks strength three dealing one to five on a crit so that's mad so for 70 points you get a crit you're going to do five damage and you get three attacks there with a little bit of range that's a lot for 70 points that damage there so that's really cool and his ability we know is on the double scurry away and it looks like i think all of these guys are going to get the scurry away ability um so it suits them and their kind of nature so there we are that's our our plague monk and really good for 70 points and here's our second plague monk and again 70 points uh, he's got a movement of six can take eight damage toughness three he's got the one ability he's got some different weapons here with the blades so just a range of one can make four attacks strength three dealing one to four on a crit so not as um strong in the damage he can put out but he does get the extra attack and he's got to be in closer to do that and ability wise he's got the double so he can also use the scurry away ability that's our second plague monk now we've got a knight runner and he's a little bit more at 75 points he's got the same movement of six can take eight damage toughness three he's got the one ability and here he's got two choices of weapons so this one is a range of eight can deal two attacks strength three dealing one to two on a crit or he can get up close with those clawed blades there and with a range of one he can have three attacks strength three dealing one to three on a crit so a few options there with weapons and this night runner and the plague monks we just saw aren't included in the pack so you have to either substitute the models or, or buy or pick up some of the other sets to get these if you want them to be realistic to the pictures there and now we're on to the clan rat 
and this is the one that is included in the set and at 75 points he's got the same movement of six can take eight damage but he's a little bit tougher with a toughness four he's got that same ability the scurry away there and he's just got the the shield oh that's why he's, he's got a little shield there that's why he's got the extra toughness and he's got a range of one three attacks strength three one to three on a crit so this is what we'd expect from these 65 70 point models but with the extra toughness because of the shield that's that guy and he's gonna uh, help tactically i guess with that extra toughness so that's our first clan rat and we've got a second clan rat here and again 75 points and he's got the same movement six can take eight damage with toughness four and he's got a range of two because he's got this longer bladed weapon here and he can make two attacks strength three dealing one to four on a crit so combining him with the other clan rat you've got that extra little bit of range but both with toughness four so that's really nice so these are going to be the tougher of the lower point miniatures and he's got the same scurry away ability there so that's our second clan rat so that's all our lower point scavens done and now the points are going to start to go up and so we're moving on to the storm vermin so this one's not included in the pack so you'd have to pick up another set or kit bash some of the um scaven included in the set to make this one uh, but he's 105 points and he's got a movement of six he can take a bit more damage now at 10. Toughness 4. He's got a different room mark, so we're going to get a different ability here. And with his long kind of weapon here, he's going to get a range of 2. He can make 3 attacks with the strength 3, dealing 2 to 4 on a crit. So this is starting to get a bit higher now. We can deal some more damage. And let's see what this extra ability here is. And here we go. On a double, it's called Hired Bodyguard. Until the end of the battle round, friendly fighters with the leader rune mark cannot be targeted while they are within one inch of this fighter. Oh, that's cool. So I haven't seen this kind of ability before. So our leader, he can get some protection here. You can move him up close with a bodyguard, uh, kind of supporting him and, and taking care of him. Maybe you get two of these. That's really going to help. If one of those gets taken out, you've got to back up. And then you can get your leader up close to perhaps some of the opponent's heavier, larger models and do some leadership abilities on them. So I like that, the hired bodyguard. That's kind of cool. And that's going to add to some narrative with your leader being all sneaky and cowardly and not wanting to get right into the fight, but hiding behind his bodyguards there. So that's our Storm Vermin. And now we've got our second Storm Vermin. He's a little bit more now, 115 points. And he's got movement six, can take 10 damage. His toughness is going up even more here. So he's a toughness five. He's got the long kind of weapon as well. So range of two, dealing two attacks, strength three, two to four on a crit. So we've got a little bit extra toughness here. And he's got that same ability, which we saw just now with the last Storm Vermin, which is on a double, the hired bodyguard. And again, this, this one isn't included in the pack, so you're going to have to kit bash or pick up another set for this model. Now, this is our claw leader, and our claw leader is included in the pack, so this is great. And he's 145 points, so twice as much as the clan rats that he's going to be leading. And uh, he's got a movement six. He can take 16 damage with a toughness four. And he's got two abilities, which we'll look at in a second. And his weapon here, the sword, has got a range of one. He can do four attacks, strength three, dealing two to four on a crit. So not a huge amount of damage, but not bad. And he's got a little bit there that he can take as well. And he can do four attacks, which is always nice. So let's look at this new ability, which is going to be our leadership ability. And he gets the double scurry away. And here we go. So his leadership ability is a triple called lead from the back until the end of the battle round. Add half the value of this ability, rounding up, to the attacks characteristic of attack actions that have a range characteristic of three or less made by other friendly fighters while they are within three inches of this fighter. Okay, so this is a lot to digest here. Let's break it down. Okay, so this could be quite a, quite a good ability. If you're rolling fives or sixes, you're going to be able to add half the values, rounding up, so that's going to add three to the attacks characteristic of attack actions 
that have a range of three or less, which is most of our our um, fighters here. A friendly fighter is while they were within three inches of this fighter. So he could give an extra three attacks to all friendly fighters within three inches of him. That's a lot. And certainly if you've got lots of these rats there, that's huge. If you've got lots of clan rats going in and they're close to him and he's just behind them within three inches, you're going to be dealing a ton of attacks at the opponent. So for a triple, that's really good. And you want to be looking at fives or sixes to make use of that for sure. So that's our claw leader and really good ability there. Okay, now we've got another plague monk and this is gonna be our leader. And I don't know the name of this guy. If you know, please put it in the comments below. I mean, I've never bought any Skaven before or really looked into them uh, uh, at all. So uh, yeah, it'd be great if you know what this guy's called, but he looks cool with the book. I really love this. And he comes in at 150 points. He's got movement six. He can take 16 damage with a toughness four. And he's got a range of one, can make four attacks, strength three, dealing two to four on a crit. So he's very similar to the previous claw leader that we just saw, but five extra points, but he does get this extra ability. So let's take a look at that now. Okay, so on the double is the scurry away. The triple lead from the back for the leadership room mark. And then we got this one here, which I haven't seen before on a quad, which is recite from the book of woes. Until the end of the battle round, enemy fighters cannot use abilities while they are within three inches of this fighter. That's cool. So that's going to block some of the enemy abilities. So that's nice. So if you could have a little kind of command team here with your bodyguards, a claw leader, and this guy, this plague monk here, you can really get the claw leader up close to the enemy, the opponent, the strong opponents, and then protect him with your bodyguards stop them inflicting like extra ability damage on those bodyguards and then use your leader to do some serious damage and that's pretty cool so these skaven seem to have lots of ideas for tactics here which i'm liking and that's uh, so that's our second plague monk and he's our leader and now we're on to this guy and i think this is a storm vermin again if you if you know please let me know in the comments below and he's going to be our leader at 170 points. And he's got movement six, can take 20 damage. So he can take a lot more damage now. Toughness four. And he's got a range of one, which is, I thought he'd have more with this long weapon here, but a range of one. He can do four attacks, strength four, dealing two to four on a crit. Uh, I really like the look of this character with the heads he's carrying. He looks really cool, shouting his orders across. And we know he's going to get this ability, just one ability, uh, which is the leadership triple lead from the back. So for 170 points, I'd expect to see some more abilities. Um, but to be fair, this lead from the back is pretty powerful if you've got enough of the um, other clan rats and warband members close by. Uh, so that's our leader, and I believe it's going to be Storm Vermin. Okay, now we're jumping up to 225 points and starting with our big guys here, the Rat Ogres, which I think are awesome looking models. And these really attracted me to this warband. They look great. They look almost like werewolves more than kind of Skaven rats. And I think they're awesome with the kind of flesh and the fur coming through and the face is brilliant. And I like how you've got lots of different arms in the pack as well. So we've got lots of variations. But these guys, this first one is 225 points. He's got a movement of five, can take a lot more damage, so 30 damage with a toughness four. So he's not as fast and agile as the others, but can certainly take a lot more damage as you ex would expect by looking at him. And he's got two new rune marks that we haven't seen yet on the other members. And he's gonna get up close with those fists and claws, a range one, dealing four attacks, strength four, and well, with four to eight, eight on a crit, this is a huge amount of damage he can put out with four attacks. So if you can get your leaders up close with him and give him an extra like three attacks, he can do seven attacks, dealing four to eight, eight on a crit. He's just gonna take some big opponents down. So this is really cool. And he's gonna make up for the weaker members for sure. But you've gotta pair him with a leader, surely. But anyway, let's look at the abilities of our Rat Ogre. So he's got the Beast Rune Mark and he's got this one here 
which is on a triple called Crushing Charge. Until the end of this fighter's activation, the next time this fighter finishes a move action within one inch of an enemy fighter, pick a visible enemy fighter within one inch of this fighter. Allocate a number of damage points to that fighter equal to the value of this ability. Okay, so getting him up close is going to be important here and making sure he finishes close to an enemy and then he can allocate a number of damage points to that fighter equal to this ability here. So if you're getting triple sixes or triple fives, you can deal some serious damages there and that's really cool. Um, but that four to eight is going to be really important in the game and for 225 points to get that many that's awesome and a great looking miniature too so that's our first rat ogre i should say because he's got that beast rune mark he can even here if he's paired close to a pack master he can get a bonus attack action here if he's close enough to him so man there's really lots of options to give bonus attacks to these rat ogres and i love that that's cool right Okay, now we've got our second Rat Ogre, and this guy's got the Warp Fire Gun here. And so he's 235 points, so 10 more points than the previous Rat Ogre. And he's got a movement of 5, and whoa, he's a lot tougher here, so toughness 4, but he can take 40 damage, which is huge. And he's got the Beast through Mark and this same triple crush in charge ability here. And he's got two options for weapons. He's got the ranged Warp Gun. Uh, minimum range three maximum eight and he can have two attacks with a strength five dealing three to six on a crit so that's really good for a range weapon dealing three to six with two attacks that's nice but he can also get up close the way there's a claw there on a range of one and do two attacks strength four dealing four to eight on a crit so this gives us some nice options for range there which is really good but you're not going to be able to team him up with a pack master or use that triple lead from the back ability with your leader either. But he does have the crush in charge. So to have those two weapon options and that crush in charge, that's really cool. And yeah, he's a great looking miniature with the warp gun and all these kind of boils and everything on him. He's really awesome. And for 235 points, I think you get quite a bit there. So that's a really cool model. And that's our second Rat Ogre. Now we're on to our storm fiend and this storm fiend isn't included here so again you're gonna either have to substitute or kit bash a model or pick up this model from another set and he's 265 points he's got a movement of five can take 35 damage with a toughness five he's got one ability here which we saw earlier and he's got two weapon options his first one is a range weapon three to eight range can make two attacks strength five dealing three to six on a crit and his second weapon up close with a range of one two attacks strength four dealing four to eight on a crit and let's just check out that ability to make sure yep there's the triple crushing charge so for 30 extra points here you're not getting much more than that rat ogre with the warp fire gun so he's a little bit tougher but he can take less damage and the weapons are pretty much identical so not a huge amount of value in that extra 30 points there and so for me i certainly wouldn't be looking to play this model i would stick with a warp fire gun rat ogre that's in included in the warband but it gives you another cool option and we get another storm fiend card with the same value 265 points the same ability and movement 5 35 damage he can take with toughness five so that's the same but his range here is a lot more so three to twenty range two attacks strength four dealing two to four on a crit so you get the extra range but you're losing a little bit here in strength and damage output and he's got his other weapon here which is a range of one two attacks strength four four to eight on the crit and he's just got the ability triple there which is the crushing charge so for 265 points you're getting a bit extra in the way of range um, but losing in some other areas so again the storm feed you've got to weigh up really if this is something you want in your warband i mean he looks cool but for those extra points is he worth it okay we're getting there um thanks for sticking with me this is a long one with 20 fighter type cards but what do you think so far let me know in the comments below i'd love to hear what you think and i'll keep working through these for now until we get up to this awesome guy at the end and just see what he's going to bring to the table so this is another storm fiend it looks like 
Again, correct me if I'm wrong with these, these Skaven names. I'm just working off this fighter type card here, but he certainly looks like a Storm Fiend. And again, not included in the pack. So for 265 points, you're getting a movement five, can take 35 damage with a toughness five. He's got the triple there ability, and he's got a range of one, can make four attacks with a strength four, dealing four to 10. So this is a huge amount of damage he can put out with a 10 on a crit and four attacks. And with his range being below three, you could also make use of him with your leaders. So this is really good. If you can give him some extra attacks there, with that kind of output that's going to be a serious player for sure um, but you, you would have to pick up that model i think it would be difficult to kit bash this model with what you've got here and you really would have to pick this one up i think but for 265 points for that huge amount of damage output i think this is a great model and that's the storm fiend number three right now we've got another storm fiend so i think i would have liked to have seen more rat ogre variations here rather than so many storm fiends but it looks like they're encouraging you to pick up some more models perhaps um but i don't even know if i'd play these to be fair in the warband i like the look of the rat ogres much more but here we go he's 265 points he's got a movement five can take 35 damage with toughness five he's got that triple ability range of one can make five attacks with a strength four dealing four to eight on a crit so another tough character a good one to pair up with your leaders and pack masters oh no sorry you don't get the beast one with this so you can't use him with a pack master but you could use him with the leader for sure and here's our next one and i'm not sure if this is a storm feed or not is he linked to the plague monks maybe i don't know again if you know please let me know in the comments but he's 265 points as well He's got a movement 5, 35 damage he can take with a toughness 5. He's got that single ability on a triple. So he's got a range of 1 with these cool looking weapons. And that's a 4 attacks with a strength 5, dealing 4 to 8 on a crit. And that's our perhaps storm feed or maybe he's got a different name. I'm sure he's got a different name. I'm going to have a look after this video. And now we're on to our final Skaven fighter type. And this guy's coming in at the highest at 285 points. He's got what looks like three crazy Gatling guns attached to him. And he's got a movement of five, can take 35 damage with a toughness five. Again, he's just got that one single ability, which is a triple crushing charge. So he's got a range here of minimum three, maximum 10. So he can't use these on any enemy that's below three inches away and he's got four attacks strength four dealing two to four four on a crit and but if you get up close and need to use him he's got a range of one with two attacks with uh strength four dealing four to eight on a crit so he's pretty tough up close he's going to get stuck in and deal four to eight damage and um that's but you're only going to get two goes at that up close so really this is going to be the range weapon i guess you want to use here but for 285 points he's pretty high he looks like another storm feed or maybe he's attached to like the plague monks i'm not sure but um that's our final fighter card and that's all 20 of the skaven fighters complete there we go that's our skaven unboxed and we've gone through all the fighters now uh, so i really like the look of the skaven they look really cool i think they're going to be fun to get painted i don't think it's going to take long to paint them i think they're going to be fun to play on the warband battlefield uh the only thing i think that lets this set down is you've got 20 fighter type cards which is awesome but you can only use seven of them with the miniatures that come in the pack so that's a little bit disappointing and it was really heavy on the storm fiend where i would have liked to have seen a few more cards for the rat ogres there but other than that i'm really happy and i think if you've got a skaven army that you played with age of sigma already then you're probably going to have a lot of these miniatures and for that i think it's worth getting the fighter type card pack um and perhaps even the set because it's got to be good value for money to get this many miniatures for 30 pounds with that discount at element games but overall i'm really happy i'm glad i picked this set up i love the rat ogres and the pack masters and those giant rats i think for such low points are going to be great fun to play in the game and then combining the rat ogres with the pack master we're going to get lots of 
really strong abilities here. I also like the the bodyguard ability that comes with these guys, the storm vermin. So whether I kit bash some of the ones we've got in the set here, or maybe pick up some storm vermin, I'm not sure. But I definitely want to be using that ability. So they're going to feature in, in my warband in the future, 100%. I'd love to hear what you think about the Warcry Skaven Warband. So let me know in the description below. What do you think about the cards you get? Um, how do you think this is going to work if you've got an existing army? Let me know. I hope this video has helped you and given you a good insight into what you're going to get with this warband. I'll put the link in the description to Element Games and you're going to be able to save 20% there. It is an affiliate link, but it doesn't cost you anything. In fact, it saves you money and with every sale made through that link, I'll get a small commission that will help me develop the channel and I'm really grateful for that support. Thanks so much for watching. Please check out my other videos where I'm unboxing almost all the war bands that have been released for Warcry. And if you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe for more Warcry content like this, and don't forget to hit that notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games.